Hello, um, everybody, and, uh, welcome back. Um, um, I've noticed that, um, the Bong Zhong Dong ghost... Bong Zhong Dong? I, I can't remember. Uh, but, <laughs> how you say it? Um, the, uh, it actually, um, on the Facebook page for Spark Gaming, some of the people who liked it, um, shared the, m my video, like loads of them did. <laughs> saying like oh this is the best video he's done so far and like oh this is pretty funny and I thought and I was you know really honored by that and I and I thought to myself you know it, it's good that I'm um, making these kind of uh, videos for you guys and, I, and I'm impressed that you're um, well I'm glad that you're enjoying it and this is um, you know a really good thing but anyway so I decided that I'm going to continue this I am going to be reading The Ghost in Manzong Tunnel, Korean Ghost Stories 2013. Alright, Horang, let's see what you've got. It was several years ago. I was on my way to my hometown alone on an express bus. I really like the drawings. There were only ten or less passengers seated here and there, but how come you said you were alone? As the bus slid into a tunnel with the surrounding becoming dark, I let my eyes shut closing the book I was reading on the bus to kill the boredom of a long bus ride home. Oh, why did it go dark? It was not long before I fell asleep. I might have been pretty tired. You don't say. Some time has passed. I opened my eyes and stared outside the window to find that we are still we were still in the tunnel looking all glaring red while the bus was running con continuously since it felt as if quite a long lapse of time I just thought that it was another tunnel from the one I felt where I fell asleep but no matter how far the bus ran there was no end to the tunnel oh god oh god oh god it seemed as if an air from somewhere outside was the <laughs> outside this world was surrounding me, giving me an awkward and discomfort feeling, and I had chills all over my body. Ah! Oh no! I leaned over to the corridor to get a better glimpse of inside. All of the passengers seemed to be asleep. Oh, thank God, I thought they were dead. <laughs> Let it, letting their bodies slip, t slip on to the side. However, it did not give me a clear view due to the seat and high backs. I turned around to see the tail part of the bus. Hello! To find out some passengers lying on the floor with fatal damages to their body and bleeding heavily. The f a feeling of a terrible accident crossed my mind, until then suddenly, SNAP! A creepy weird noise came from the front. Ah! Snap, snap. 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 Ah! I... Snap! Ah! ah! them on I don't have an exact memory clank clank I panically pushed my seat belt to the front to loosen myself until all finger fingernails broken into pieces but clank clank please clank strangely my seat belt did not move a bit ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Thump. The knife of the child went straight through my thigh, leaving me burning pain and stripped myself of conscious. I woke up myself to find in a hospital ward. Them, there might have been a terrible accident. 
TV newsmen went on and on to report this accident every day. Express bus collision in May Song Tunnel. Eight were dead, including the driver, leaving only myself and another passenger alive. People say I was in a coma for two days with a severe damage in my leg and an injury in the head. It was re it really was a major accident, but they say I survived because of the seatbelt that protected me from bouncing out of the bus. I tried to convince the doctor, nurses and even police officers to investigate the case about the kid I saw on the bus, but no one seemed to believe me. Another survivor is still in a coma. He's in the ward next to mine. That person, probably. Oh no! Might have seen what I saw on the bus. <sighs> there, um, there, buried a family in Mountain um, Seok Sung, located in Yogini Jiago Do. Sorry, I don't know. Decapitated to death due to a wrongful accursion as traitors by King Ga Wang Yi. One of them was a little child who just started to say a few words. <laughs> Damn you! You interrupted it! <laughs> uh, one of them was a uh, look, looking, looking... Um, a spirit of a young child looking like a half-rotten corpse used to come down to to a village and claim ton tens of people's lives. I Having heard about the tragic story, Gawang Yi placed a large rock on the field where the family is buried, and the ghost of the child was never seen again. Mazhuang Tunnel, where the accident place Wang Xiwang was opened in traffic in 1994. Hi. Oh, fuck. Don't, no, don't, 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 don't. The end. Oh, oh my god! I'm, I'm literally crying. I'm literally crying. This is like the most scariest shit that I've ever seen. Oh my god! That is the most scariest you know, thing that I have ever done. Oh my fucking god. Go away! Stupid bitch. Oh, so that's oh god. Anyways, guys, um, there was, uh, whatever that comic was. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this episode of me getting the shit scared. <laughs> And um, if you like, if you love this video, why not give it a like? And also share it with your friends to say, oh, check out this guy. He did it again. And this time he actually crapped his pants. <laughs> and anyways, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to Spark Gaming. And by doing so, but and also subscribe to my channel uh, where um, I can bring up more type of things like this. Games and reading scary comics or whatever. Anyways, guys, that's it for me, and I will see you all in the very next video. Goodbye, everybody.